Depression by Uncle Dubilo. I'm probably saying it right, but T U P E L O. CBT guitar lesson for Dave. Some good stuff, Dave. I think we get two uh, acoustic ones. Tuning for this is standard. And uh, if you're new to playing this kind of style of guitar, it could be a little tricky, but look always, Dave, for things that are repeating. And, and in this case, probably the most common strum pattern, or at least one of them, ever, is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So those things, after you do them a while, next time you come to another song you're working on, don't be surprised when you come across familiar strum patterns again. It's important to be paying attention to those things. Okay, so we're going to start here. That was section 1B, 17 seconds in. Um, I just, I had to pick a part, and that's the part I picked. Section 1A on the top of page 2. And you can set up for the C major chord. So 3A, 2D, and 1B. Actually, you can lift your middle finger off, but we're going to be hammering. So we're going to play 3A, and then open D, hammer to 2, and then the open G. But you don't want to go do it within the chord. And then bring the middle finger right back down. And we're going to go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So it's... Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then there's this open G hammer to two. Leave it there as you go. Oh, actually, then lift it up and do down, up on open one, open G, B, E. Just part of that C major chord. So it's... Ah. And then... Stay on the C major chord again. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Just like last time. Then we're going to go open D, hammer to two, open G. So it's slow. It's... Oops. And then the transition takes you into an F chord. But we're going to be adding a high G to it. So 3D, 2, 2G, 1B, 3E. If you listen close, you'll hear that high note ringing throughout these chords, which a lot of times it would just be a barred one, but um, he added this to it. Uh, down, 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 change. The change is just a resolve to the standard F major, 3, 2, 1, 1. So it sounds like this. All right, so. And then up. And then one open B, 2 G. Down up. So it's open D, hammer to two. Sounds like this. And then down up, down up on that chord. Then three E, open two, three on the A string. Once the three's there, once again, we leave it down because we're chord building here. Down up. Actually, yeah, it'd be down up. Open D, hammer two, down up, down up on the chord. So it's. Open G twice, hammer to two, and then an open G. Right back to the three A, so we're going to build our C major chord again. Down, down, up, down, up, down. And then a walk down. Two open on the on the A. So leading into that, you got two E hammer to three, and then add the third fret E and B because he's on a G chord. So it's a muted A open D G three on the B and E. Open A hammer to two, down up on the last four strings. So that part from the hammer on in the F sharp here is this. And then three, three on the E, open, two, three on the A, into the C major, down up. And then open D, hammer two, down up, down on the remainder of the C chord. Three E, open two on the A. 
Okay, we go to the top of page three, section 1B, 17 seconds in. Now, this is the part I uh, intro the lesson with. And it's a C major again. Play the root, which is 3A, and then down, up, up, down, up. That's going to go four times. The F, 3, 2, 1, 1. We're going to play the same concept of root note. So 3D, and then strum the chord down, up, up, down, up two times. Well, two times of the whole thing. Back to the C major, same thing, but down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Then the walk up, 3E, open 2, 3 on the A, back into the C chord. Two times on an F, so it's right back to C, two times through on the strum pattern. Okay, G major, 3E, 2A, open, open, 3B, 3E. Same concept, root, down, up, up, down, up, two times. It's really cool, so you got this single note being pulled out, and then the, the chord strums after it. After that, C major, same thing. With the added high G, third fret on the high E. Okay, F major. Well, that was two times. Okay, no, never mind. Section 1C, 34 seconds in. It's the same C major with the high G. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Change, change. The change will be an F. Actually, the F with the high G. Right back to the C two times with the root note first. Okay, the F with the high G. All strums, down, down, up, up, down, up twice. Back to C. Back to the C with the high G. It's the uh, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, and then the walk up. Okay, top of page four, section one D, 51 seconds in. C major with the high G again. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. That final down, I'm going to show you what he does there. We have open, hammer one on the B, and then an open B. So play it in context. thing is, say you're not extremely accurate on some of it, as long as you have the chord notes set down, anything you play is going to be in key, it won't sound like ick, but try to get it, you know, the way it's written. That's why I mentioned the strum pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up. It's just so common as you're finding 70% of the song does that. F major with the high G, down, 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 change to the regular F. Okay, so... Up, followed by this. One open B, two G. I think we did that earlier too. And then the C root note, down, and then down, up, down. That final down, hammer open D to two. So it's. And then down, up, down, up, two, open one, D, G, B. But if you hit the high E in there, it's still going to sound fine. Uh, so we have. After the hammer, let's see. Yeah. One strum after the hammer, and then down, up, down, up, twice. So. F with the high G, whole note. That means you're going to let it ring for a four count. Okay. Three, four, C major, four count, again, three count, which is the dotted half note, so you have four count, four count, three count, and then two strums followed by the C major, uh, four count, 
So those are long pauses. G major, 3 2, open, open, 3 3. Down, 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 down. But it's faster. Right back to C. Down, down, up, down, down. 3 E, open, 2 A. Those are repeats. They're in there a lot. Walk ups and walk downs. Minute 58, repeat section 1C one time. That's the part that's on page 3, right in the middle. Um, and then you'll finish it with this the C major dotted half note, so we know it's a 3 count. One, two, three, drop to the F. And come right back to the C for a 4 count. So it's one, two, three. G, two, three, four, C, down, down, then F with the high G, up, down, up, changing to a C major, that's how it is, so, and if you're not liking that high G on the C chord and the F chord, take it off, not the end of the world. Um, when you listen to this, he's just in a groove jamming. It's not super intricate, precise. So that's why I'm saying if you hit another string on accident and it's within that chord, don't beat yourself up over that. I'd hate for that to be the reason that you're struggling. So, um, one last bit of advice. What I like to do a lot of times is if I have tabs for something is format the chords to where I just run through them in order in the song. Make sure I get familiarized with them, um, and that'll help you when you dig into it, into the meat and taters of it, all right? So, all right, man, appreciate you. Thanks, and uh, have fun with this.